Okay. Good afternoon. My name is James Duncan, and uh, we're here to talk to you a little bit about using hydrogen as a fuel. We're going to focus, for the purposes of this conversation, on uh, horsepower increases using hydrogen extracted from water. Um, what you have right here is a hydrogen generator. Now, this one promotes a 60-cell design, uh, which is a powered by a pulsed square wave DC um, circuitry, um, which is 117 volts uh, coming off of a 14.5-volt alternator that's actually been modified to uh, produce 260 amps worth of current. Uh, you'll notice a different fan belt, which is a stronger fan belt, in order to uh, help drive uh, that alternator. Um, that alternator can probably pull about 7 horsepower out of the engine, and um, that is used uh, to generate enough electricity to drive the, uh, um, the process of splitting the hydrogen and the oxygen out of the water, uh, which we use for a fuel. If you know, focus over on this generator, this is another hydrogen generator which is designed to operate off of the 14.5 volts that the uh, alternator produces for charging the battery. Uh, it carries within it um, five cells, uh, basically of the same design, um, but all told, we haven't actually measured the gas volume uh, that this system produces, but it's a safe bet that it's going to be over 300 liters an hour. Um, let's take just a second and take a look at this unit. This unit right here is designed as a safety, um, uh, which has a blowout plug. If there ever was a backfire, an explosion of the hydrogen gas, this plug would also release. We've got another one of the same type of safety designs designed into the manifold of this generator, and then one here. The blowout plugs also double as a way of servicing the system with water. Um, so what we'll take a look at right now is a little device right here, which is a full bridge wave rectifier, which is coming off of an inverter, uh, which we will show you. And uh, then we have a small unit right here, which is just a master relay, which takes energy off of the, uh, uh, the coil uh, from the electronic ignition. Uh, and then allows it to be controlled through that master relay for the turning on and off of this generator. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the truck. On the firewall, you'll see a blue box. That's a 2000 watt uh, inverter. Now that takes the uh, 14 volts uh, DC and it turns it into a square waved AC. We then invert that back to a, a square wave DC, which is not really a square wave, but back to a, a square pulse DC uh, through the bridge wave rectifier. Let's go around to the other side and we'll take a look at the dashboard. Let me, I'm going to go in the other side. Okay. This right here is a device for monitoring the performance of the inverter. It will show us the volts, the amperage, the wattage, the volt amperage, the cycles, and you can even convert it into kilowatt hours. So that will tell us how much energy the uh, inverter is actually uh, producing uh, for the purposes of hydrogen gas. The other thing that we have in this truck is an EGT gauge. That EGT stands for exhaust gas temperature. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, useful device for helping us to know not only that we have uh, monitored or altered the performance of the engine, but to also make sure that we don't over temp the engine. As you increase hydrogen uh, fuel consumption, uh, that actually works to help the exhaust gas temperature come down. Uh, so you really can't push the parameters of over temping the exhaust as long as you're uh, inducing more and more hydrogen fuel. Uh, into the uh, combustion process. The other thing that we have here is a uh, DC amp gauge. This one is coupled directly to 
the hydrogen generator which runs uh, directly off the 14 volt battery system. And uh, that's pretty much it. You want me to go ahead and start it? All right.